for the humans. When Sock destroyed Happy and 40 destroyed 120. Now it's time for Sock to take it home. Oh, we get a draw. And thank you, F12 Power, for the 100 bits. So. 1 to 0. Goes to Lich Expansion. And Sock. As we said before. Is not going for the lap. Is not playing it 40 style. He has his own way. Expand as fast as possible. Then creep the level 3. If there's a draw. You think they have an ace match? Or do maps count? I don't know the system. We're in for the ride anyway, right? A little attack speed here. So, not switching up anything in between series. This is exactly the way he played against Happy. And I have rarely seen Happy so destroyed. But maybe 1 to 0 with his different style finds a way. Items look fine, but we go into the base. Water Elementals, level 2. Similar to how he plays against Night Elf onto Lores and similar how he plays against Orc onto Burrows. Just rush the enemy base. It's so cool. Like, usually... I know, I... Sorry if this is getting annoying, but... Usually, I love to have a stream with a lot of matchup variety. And if I have the same matchup twice in a row, it could get boring fast. Not with human undead. Not at all. Oh, need some new militia here. Tower target fire is a little off, but he gets the cancel and that's most important. Trading ghouls. For footmen, that is also fine as long as the base is standing, and it is. Archmage can get some sweet little late breakfast here. Can anyone link the Happy Fanboy song that Neo just played? Of course, it's on our YouTube. We need your interaction. Like, comment, share. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube so we can get the 100,000 followers. And I get the play button. I want this play button. If I get one thing in my life, it's that damn play button at one point. I don't care about wife, family, house, dog, whatever. I want the YouTube play button. It's my one goal I've left in life. Oh, Nova. Boots. There's another Nova. In three, a plate two, of forces are under attack. There you go. And that's another cancel. Wonderfully done. Town portal traded for an expo. And footman. So this is annoying. I'm at one thirty thousand subs for two and a half years. Didn't get the button yet. What? What are you doing on YouTube, dude? 130 is sick. I'm guessing ASMR. Players' forces are under attack. One to zero plays 
his ghoul's way more aggressive than before, huh? And he also figures out that this base is unprotected. And then you can flood this. This is a little bit of a last resort because his base is under attack once again. And there's no way he can surround anything. Plus another water metal. That's another cancel. Question is how much damage can he get done here? And so far, this looks like a lot of damage. Since the second town hall is up, you can build more peasants to help with the lumber and get a shredder. But... Whoo! Boy, blasting through the mana, getting kill after freaking kill. He got half a level here, just from workers. And Sock, this was an opening that you give one to zero. Educational content about personal development and dating. Ooh, maybe I should sub. Maybe I should. Well, maybe I should sub. So I can finally, finally get my date with Carson. Guys, there's units falling every freaking where. Region cancelled though. Town is under players forces are under attack. All you gotta do is ask. You're not coming to mainland. If you come to mainland Europe, I'm 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 taking you out on a date. The nice candlelight kebab date. How many times can you cancel an expo? <laughs> Literally flooding this base. Oh, Stonebolt out. Wait, is that Lich dead? Hold the phone. Stonebolt in two. Hit him! <gasps> One to zero being a little careless here. No way. He's trying to get the counter kill. But Stonewall is ready. He gotta get out. TP. Anything. Invuln. Seven seconds. He's not chasing. What a banger of a match this is. Crazy losses on both sides. Who can recover faster? That was a lot of mana. Good for one to uh, good for sock that he found the region potion. Absolutely needs that. Tech on the way. Not for one to zero. Stuck. Uh, stuck. Stuck on tier two. And he'll be stuck on tier two for quite some time. Food here is terrible? Really? London has amazing food. Especially curry. And fish and chips, dude. Alex Berlin, thank you for the sub. Three years, mate. Peasants are coming over for the fast build on the Avery. We are just trading this again, man. He just can't get that second base up, whatever he's trying. Trying to cause so much disruption, but he's also... I'm kind of fascinating. Oh, the farm block! He got him trapped! For now, at least, gets it out again. But here's the arrival of a Mountain King. We're exchanging blows one more time. Surround, no TP, no staff. Blocks it up. Closes it again. Opens it up again. Man, this is like a revolving door. Can reach with the hammer. Can he reach with anything else? No, that's a coil. Holy. And now, life of an Archmage is in jeopardy. 
Level two. There we go. Nova's back on the menu. But the longer the game goes, the better it is for Sock. We got the two bases. A player's forces are under attack. Schwink. This is the win condition. Or rather, this is the win condition. This is freaking hero arena, guys. I feel like a human hero could be falling here. Which is safe. We have another bolt. Do we not? Now we do. <gasps> a player's forces are under attack. <laughs> action, action, I love it. Not a single calm moment in this game. And bro, how dare you to insult fish and chips? I don't give a sh damn about the chips, but the fish. Hmm. We're arriving in the late game. Finally, after 13 minutes, we are arriving in the late game. Sock struggles with the levels. 1 to 0 struggles with the economy. And actually, DK levels. Heroes out. Tanks are coming. Knights are coming. What's the hero for one to zero? Not choosing one yet. A player's forces are under attack. It's waiting for that destroyer bust, but. Not that busty, really easy. Level 2 Mountain King finally goes for clap immediately to have something against the ghouls. Holy light, not ready, needs to wait a second, turns around, storm bolt. There we are to the rescue. And night normal damage is freaking fantastic versus heroes as well. First Destro up, puts pressure on statues, this one's empty. And leaves it up so it clocks the 50 food, 40 food. Nuke, but the paladin always got the juice. We still have a big mana potion. A hero will fall. A hero is destined to fall. And maybe then it's 1 to 0. Dead! Invo potion last second. But what's the solution to Griffins? What's the solution to the tanks? What's the solution to the Mountain King with the big mana potion? Where is the hope? Not on the DK. Both heroes fall at the same time. It was destined to happen, wasn't it? These guys are fighting a 15-minute hero arena. Dark Ranger coming in. No healing or invul on the Paladin. And Lich is level 6. Ghost Dark Ritual 3 immediately. Remo would be proud. Pally! Oh my god! Steph out, but isn't there a lich waiting for him? Just a Destro as the gyros arrive. Sick counters. Sick, sick, sick counters, lich. Archmage in trouble as well. Pally is obviously benched. This is an extraordinarily entertaining series, but there's still a tank trying to buy time. He killed a bit. What is it? So bloodthirsty kills the critter immediately. Sock has definitely something to work on. Heroes has to get one from the tavern. And that tank is finally dealt with. A player's forces are under attack. But now it's one base, two base, established expos, and no banshees.
still incredibly limited anti-air. Not a single fiend. Not a single web. No gargs. Feels like 1-2-0 is running out of options here. Holy light. Whoa! Was there silence? I didn't see. The holy light was ready. Ghouls ravaging. Tower to the rescue. This Mountain King is not learning. And a bit of dead weight here. Who's making the first or oh, the next major mistake? One to zero is holding on to dear life, but on one base and confirmed one base as there is a scout. The war of attrition goes to Sock. And he can't beat that in a long game. Six two two. This looks so wrong. Where's the good old normal verteilung? Nobody knows. If Sock gets a kill, he wins this map. More griffins, more food. A player's forces are under attack. We? Oui? Invo potions are the most requested item in the game for sure. Sixteen food ahead at level six. That level three. Oh, not yet. Level two coil would be enormous. So, reaching around, aiming for that backstab. No TP on 120, but he gets level three. Finally, the level two coil. And he's not mining here. It's one base, one base at the moment. Not for much longer, but at the moment he is. Crazy noob, crazy skellies. Sock, what's he doing here? He killed something. Oh, fiends are coming. One to zero could still win this. That would be extraordinary. There is movement. Oh, Zeppelin Griffin attack in the base. One to zero has got a response. He's got to respond. But the Griffins are missing in the fight. Is that an overcommitment? He needs to get this gold mine. 1500 gold still in. You full mana statue lost. And that is the haunted down. Okay, no more income for 1 to 0 against like one and a half bases on Sog. Value of water elemental last second, and that's it. 1 to 0 loses it. After 21 minutes, two base, one base, triple staff was just uh, easy to recover from from these losses and trade. The trades were always in Sock's favor. And Sock stays undefeated against Undead today. 3 0. So far. Could make it 4 0. That would kind of. Cement him as the best human versus undead player at the moment. If you beat the top two undeads, 2 2 
Nice to finally find a way around the undead chokehold. And then he outmaneuvered him. And that's it. He had the choice of like going home and defend or continue fighting. And whatever he does, man. Whatever he does, he's dead. Dope jacket, where'd you get it? I don't know. Zara? Just a comfort cardigan. Nice, you like it. Glad you like it. So, if Sock wins this, human goes 3 and 1. One to zero on the last lag. <laughs> I planned to stay completely different. I wanted to react to some videos and do a little recap, etc. And here we are casting banger after banger after banger. Just fantastic. What a way to start the week on streaming day 73. Oh, Terrana stand. Seems like we have this uh, system again where we don't have any map vetoes. It's called main channel. You need this emote. Why is it so dark? The oh, fuck? That's me Saturday night. Okay. Weird. Weird champ. Anyway, might be the last game of this so much series today. to zero trailing. Is that a Dreadlord now? Picking Terranas. Dreadlord it is, baby. And a Mountain King on Sock. Let's go! This is a very, very promising start. We've seen Dreadlord before by 1 to 0 on Lost Temple, and let's be honest, Forty destroyed him. So, that was no Mountain King, though. So much variety today in these matches. No map was really like the other. A player's forces are under attack. Across four series. Thank you, liar. Does 40 communicate with Sock in English or Chinese? I need to know. Um, I don't know if they're communicating at all. I know both English is bad. I'm pretty sure Sock's Chinese is also not the yellow from the egg. But yeah, fast expansion and here we have the biggest rush distance and a hero that can't summon water elementals. So, 1 to zero's chances aren't that bad. But we can get Mercs here. And we have a Scroll of the Beast. So there is still potential. But you gotta work on your own progress as well. Player's force is under attack. 
attack. A rather calm early game so far. Dreadlord with the big mana potion. Good HP, good damage. Chat whining in few words. Happy 1 to 0 winning everything. It's the skill. Happy 1 to 0 starting to lose some maps. Is Humba. What? Do you know how insane balance whining got from human vs undead? And how insane balance whining was from undead vs human before in 2014? Bro. Revisionist history you're putting in there. Insane take. Insane storm bolts here, by the way. You gotta be razor sharp in this matchup. Every step along the way. Sleep and Stone Bolt, two great disables. Good save here by Sock, but not for long, I guess. Berserker falls. Great XP. And to be honest, I feel like. Oh, another sleep. Solid counter surround. Maps are way more impactful than balance. Otherwise, how do you get a 2 1? The player's forces are under attack. Maps are so crazy underrated by the community. It's not even funny. Todes Punk, thank you for the sub. And we just keep on brawling, man. We just keep on brawling. Just as we ended Tide Hunters. Continues this way. Both with an expo. Ghoul is here. Oh my. Closes the door with a peasant so the footman survives. How about we focus a little more on the plates of the players? That shows some great entertainment instead of whining the entire time. And talk about balance. Balance is so overrated. Because we've seen insane plays today. Says the UD. Bro, do you think that... Anything I do matters. My UD has lost the majority of games today. I'm here with a big smile on my face. Like, are you kidding me, dude? This is just extraordinary Warcraft. The only sad thing is that some people can't appreciate that. It's so good. Both heroes level 3. We just exchanged Carrion Swamp Sleep, Bash, Bolt. Units are falling left and right. This is a certified slobber knocker. <laughs> Even a mud golem eight minutes in. All right. All right. More crowd control on top of bash, on top of bolt. That's some sweet slow. Muddy surviving more than 10 seconds. That's extraordinary. But now, a little bit of a downside of the Mountain King early. No more mana if you blast it, as there's a lack of uh, Blood Mage at the moment, of course. Hex are going through. The player's forces are under attack. Oh, only started now by 1 to 0. No, that's tier 3. Whoops.
Zock did a hell of a job keeping 1-2-0 busy on his side of the map. Takes up pretty much the same. <gasps> 1-2-0 building a temple! What? What, 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 what? Don't tell me he's going Banshees. He's probably going Necro Wagons before he's going Banshees. A town is under siege. Okay, we get mass air on both sides. But it's not Gyros, of course, since Carrion and Swarm 2. That would be insane. And auto loss, I guess. Gargoyles. Wait, did he cancel the temple? Yeah, it must have been a misclick. He doesn't know how to build a temple. Okay, okay, okay. The world is in order again. Quick tech switch. Another interaction that we haven't seen much today. Happy was exposed to Mountain King Blood Mage before, I think, but that was Lich DK. Oh, speaking of DK, one more hammer. Bank so much space with that sleep. Beautiful. Wait. He got boots. Okay, DK dead. No experience here, level 4 on the first heroes, tier 3 finished. And mass air coming. This failed in spectacular fashion by 1 to 0 versus 40. Different setup though. We got a stronger carry and swarm. We got no Dark Ranger here against the Shackle. Unwilling to commit yet. Sock has no AoE against the Garks. And he won't have. You can't go gyros. This must be tanks. Workshops are coming, but this can't be gyros. You can't play gyros. Or do you have that much confidence that you can dodge carrion swarms, which is incredibly hard to do. Ranger out. Shackles will be silenced. A town is A under siege. Rune braces against the nuke is also quite fantastic. Well, here we go. Gyros. Sock is a madman. Dreadlord is flirting with level 5 and he switches to Gyros. I mean, he did Mountain King Tower Rush Lawlight. That goes to show how confident he feels right now. Good damage. Meaningful damage. I don't think Sok is ready yet. It's just a huge gargoyle flood. But we're trading bases. Game of chicken. 
Nobody, nobody's committing really. Trying to repair and buy some time, but uh-uh. Another holy light is necessary. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, got it. Come portal out. That blood mage. Save some stuff to banish while patiently waiting for that nuke to arrive. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Expo down, base, base down. That is a sick air army. Oh, two sick air armies. Suckers by the bank. The Q. Oh no, those are the last two. Looks like 1 to 0 is best game so far. It's 15 guards! Oh my god! He doesn't have heal scrolls! Against the gyros! You can't stop them all! Level 5 carrying swarm, but can't use it anymore. That is 10 gargoyles down. The curse is real. A player's forces are under attack. Ooh, if he has a heal scroll, he wins that fight, I think. Gargons? <laughs> Oof. Was there no way to get five before the attack? Or did he want to get five at the peasants? Forces are under attack. Both re established bases. Level 3 Dreadnought. Uh, level 3 Blood Mage. Huh? Okay, unwilling to commit. Okay, 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 okay. Quite some. Gyro's getting down as well. He's finishing it now. That must be level 3, and it is. How fast can you re-establish air superiority against this? Bro, oh, regions perfect. New five minutes ago, you can't go gyros. Wait a minute! I said... Except if you have the balls to dodge all the carrion swarms. Sweet sleeps, man. He's really good with the sleeps. And two free kills. Oh, that was ambitious. Five K here. Four K here. Okay, gold evens out. Back on two bases, everybody. What are the odds for an infernal? It attack. is fascinating how he makes these barrels work. Level 3 bolt. Good that he never got into clap. Pretty unnecessary. I'm so proud that I suggested Carrion Swarm to hit mechanical attack. units back then. Otherwise, what would you do? <laughs> Panda? This is one of the best undead changes ever. Patting myself on the back, I know, I know, I know. It's fine. Sometimes you gotta jerk yourself off, it's fine. A 
Slayer's forces are under attack. Twenty zero got heal scrolls. Fantastic. That's what he needs. Rare, by the way, and logical to see the level 2 silence for greater AoE. <laughs> Waffle lol! Thank you for the 17 month! Oh, we got in the sick new fight again! That Carrion Swarm level 3 is hitting hard! Heal scroll coming in. There was only one out of two. All the shackles broken with silence and sock is falling apart. One to zero brings it back. Can he reach for another carry in? Oh, some donos! But he lures. At least the dragons are. I love the position so the dragon hawks are always up front. So the gyros in the back don't take damage. Double heal scroll again. That's the key. He didn't have the heal scrolls here, and he lost that fight, and now he got them again, and he wins these fights. Needs a huge connection. Dreadlock still has mana. He still got carrions. Dark Ranger, can he reach for the silence? Oh, wow, these Dragonhawks are getting destroyed. Same for the gyros. Oh my god, that carrion swarm is so sick. 5.7 all of a sudden. Massive, massive supply lead. Dark Ranger falls somewhere. I didn't even keep track. Base wiped. And four heal scrolls for the win, man. Dude, this is gonna be a third damage on the Dreadlord. Such violence. True. We love violence here. Five point nine. Infernal is definitely a possibility. Super good against buildings. Guess you gotta win with banished bolt combos? The amount of money that 1 to 0 spent on scrolls and potions as a whole. No TP though. And Mountain King is getting fueled. There's no silence. Is it again about the heroes? That sleep was a lifesaver. Holy light, ready in two. Now he tickles him to death. Banish bolt, not enough. Was that the Hail Mary? Was that the Hail Mary? It didn't land. Base empty. That's the last piece of income. Carrion Swarm, level 6. He got Infernal skilled. Doesn't have the mana yet, but in 14 seconds we got the potion. Is he finishing this game in style just as he did against Infi at his WGL win? That was anime dead, though. There we go. Drop the base. The most beautiful ultimate in the game. And that's the base broken. No more income for Sock. There's gotta be... Banish Bolt Holy Light. 
That's the only chance. Sock still sees a way out somehow. But Infernal is also free, build, uh, free damage on buildings. And this will be a bit about buildings here. Such a sick summon. So who's nuking who now? We got a big gyro armada. Carrion swarm didn't hit too much actually, but we have the two heal scrolls again. One to zero is not making the same mistake twice. The heal scrolls are clutch. The gyros are gone. The heroes are meaningless. And we go full distance as 1 to 0 strikes back. What a fantastic game. Both first heroes at 18,000 damage done. Extraordinaire. Extraordinaire Warcraft here today. In the best matchup of them all with the best players of them all. That makes me happy. This Warcraft makes me happy. So sick, dude. Did we get one more? Love it. So we decide this on Northern Isles. Still curious if if one to zero wins now, the score would be uh, two two. If map scores count, or if we get an ace match. Off we go. Will the series be tied 2-2 and can 1-2-0 do what Happy couldn't and take a series off of Sock? About to witness. This is not really a Dreadlord map. God fuck. Oh, thank you for the 13 month. Support, of course. Much, 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 much appreciated. Kostian04, thank you for the three month resub. Those lovely tier one subs, we take them as well. Your prime, your tier one, we take it all. Thank you. And Sock bring it back in a more normal playstyle. And what's 1 to 0 going to do? Is it DK Ghoul Rush? Is it Lich? The lich. Okay. Did he take notes from the way Happy played against 40? Or was he playing standard? Butt crops with a gifted sub to butt balls. Gift sub number 2324. Absolute freaking legend. B2W buddy in the chat. Also, run by default. Thank you for the three month resub. We got ourselves a little hype train coming, Choo Choo. Get some exclusive attack. emotes for the channel. Come on, come on, come on. It would be funny if we can get an extension just for. Just for butt crumbs that changes all the names to something with butt. Moon's butt. Arthur's butt tail. Butt light, Steve. Buddy butt spot. <laughs> butt 
Bolt for Luigi Bot. Bot loss. There you go. Buddy Bot Sport is pretty good, I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mr. Buttstruck? <laughs> yeah. That'd be funny. Dude, he seriously... He has two acolytes here. He's committed, isn't he? No human one base play here? Thought he tried to squeeze that in recently? He's creeping the Tuska with militia only while harassing. Now that is ballsy. Imagine 1 2 0 going right hand side. That'd be a massacre. He might still be able to do it. Acolyte down. Who's following? He's still creeping in peace. Now we found him. Oh, there's no level 3 yet. Lich is coming. Full mana. Dodges the Nova on the workers. That took too long. That took super long. But, <laughs> but in the end, greater mana. Lich gets the item. But we have a water mental here. Tower isn't up. In the meantime, move your peasants away. He's also losing an absurd amount of mana towards the Zarkane Tower. Call to arms! Everything's morphed! It's all militia! There's no mana anymore. Expo is cancelled. Archmage is hurt at the same time. These guys, high octane. They're just brawling for an hour. Super hurt. Lumber will be incredibly low. It's a wild game. This is a wild series, my friend. And I feel like 1 to 0 is losing in the macro department a little bit here. He's down to 5 acolytes, but none of them are mining. Expo cancelled here too! The ghoul! Life-saving ghoul ambush. But the footies aren't done yet. One to zero has no gold. Now he can rebuild acolytes. On the other side, a million peasants are falling. Oh my god, what a slaughter. Level 4 and level 3.7 after 6 minutes! The footies are MVP so far, though. Restoring... Are under uh, there's no way he can expand again, can he? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. These guys are playing with fire. Boots now. Maybe even a staff? No, no staff. It's all about these. It's all about expos. If you play tier 1 for 12 minutes, totally fine. As long as the other person is also on tier 2. Tier 1. F all tower. Thank you for the bits. Denying regen here. 1 to 0 against the ropes. 18 food, 1 base. Uh, he's kinda stuck there. Yep. And I, in the heat of the moment. Alright, will we finally have a calm moment here somewhere? 1 to 0 could need a breather. The little gold he got, he has to invent. 
uh, invest into a ritual dagger. Let's go up. Donnest you! Thank you for the prime! A player's forces are under attack. I'll take all your prime. Sock has clear advantages. Expo up and running. Tech up and running. Hello, North Drakkar. Or should I say North Bakar? North Bakar. It's just getting a lot of mana drain this game. And another cancel of course. Like these footmen never rest. They don't get a break. No sleep. Till Brooklyn. He's doing damage. He's leveling a bit. But he's receiving the heavy, heavy, heavy hits. A player's forces are under attack. What's the kills per minute counter in this series? How do you recover from this, man? Still stubborn, trying to squeeze this expo through. Maybe it's the last chance he got. Anon Nerd, thank you for the tier one. Three months in advance as well, dude. You trust me, eh? To get some quality content out. Love to see it. Just like I trust Sock to wreck another expo. Thank you, Anon. We're going Mountain King. We're going air. You gotta deal with these Dragon Hawks again. A player's forces are under attack. Mm. Was about to say, don't make the same mistake 40 did and lose your hero. That's always a way back. But we have a castle tech on the way. And again, I said this before and I say it again. Second situation where we basically have tier 3 versus tier 1. A player's forces are. Yeah, Sock is on the road again. On the victory road. <laughs> Attempt number 10, 12. A player's force is under attack. It's getting more and more and more annoying. I don't know. <laughs> This one guy gotta walk. Be like, this would be me. This guy here. No first class comfort. Privilege check in. Just trailing behind. There we go. Sick Nova as everything was clumped up, but he is banking everything onto this push, and it should be working. Crazy surgical strike an inch before this is done. And we are done. Team Human defeats Team Undead with 3-1. Sock stays undefeated. 
after defeating Happy yesterday in the Doobie Cup, he continues his rampage in the uh, matchup with a 2 and 0 over Happy and a 2 and 1 over 1 2 0. That was some fantastic Warcraft today, I gotta say. 1 2 0? More successful versus Sock? Less successful versus Fortitude? These playstyles, man, they are so different between the top human and the top undead. 